What's up guys, Chance here, and I wanna thank you for stopping by this video. It's really quick and information packed, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna talk about selling recalled items on eBay today. They are extremely strict about this, and if you do break these rules, not only will your eBay account get suspended and or blocked indefinitely, but you might be at the risk of being sued by just because you are selling items that are potentially hazardous. So that being said, if you guys already have an idea of what you wanna do and you're just here for the website, you can just go ahead and click that. It's gonna be posted at the top of the video. Or if you just wanna type it in, cpsc.gov. Really easy website to navigate and pretty easy or simple to find out if an item's recalled or not. Now, if you want more information about it, um, like what is gonna be a part of this recall or what they're really strict on versus what they're not so strict on, um, stick around until the end and I'm sure you will get a lot of use out of this quick video. First things I wanna go over are the actual website itself. This is a government run website and it is constantly updated with any national recall or item that you could get in trouble with for selling. So hop on over to cpsc.gov. You can go over to the menu tab, click on the recall and, or recalls list, and just search for what you want. I recommend searching for the brand instead of searching for individual items. First and foremost, you may not be able to find the individual item, which is a good thing. And if you search for the brand, you're probably gonna get a list of, of a short list, or let's hope so, because if it's a super long list and you're having a hard time finding an individual item on that list that is there, then the quality of those items are not something you really want to be selling on your eBay account anyways. You might be able to do it on like a Facebook Marketplace or a Craigslist, but I don't know, if you're anything like me, I definitely don't want to sell anything that's gonna hurt somebody. Um, but from there, just hop on over to eBay and click next on that pop-up that they give you. As you see here, they're very serious about it. Um, but you can go ahead and post it anyways because you know you've been cleared and you've done your due diligence on your research. So if you have more questions about the eBay policy for recalled, go items, on over to eBay, click the top left-hand corner, and just click the help and contact. Um, once that search bar pops up, you can search recall item policy, and that'll be the first article that pops up. It's a two minute read, but it has a lot of dispersed information. You can go into the government sites and see what the state and federal concerns are with selling recalled items. You can also find out how to reach a manufacturer and ask for a refund for the item. That might be your best case if you do find something on the national recall list, just because they will refund you in either a new item that has been fixed or is not recalled, or they'll just send you a check with your money back, and that's probably gonna be more than what you could sell it for on eBay, just because even if you sell the item for what they originally sold for, eBay does take their cut. So, um, you're probably gonna be better off playing it safe that way anyways. So it's a win-win situation all the way around, nobody's getting hurt, and you're still putting money in your pockets. I'm really happy you guys stuck it out to the end of the video. I have down in the description the links that were in the video today. I also have links to the eBay listing for this Munchkins post so you can see how I am trying to stand out from the crowd, how my listing is SEO proper, and at the end of the day, posting and know that I'm doing this along with you. Um, but that this item should be gone by the end of next, or by the time we post our next video next Tuesday. And I look forward to seeing you guys then. Let me know if you have any other questions or if this video was helpful to you. If you liked and or subscribed to our video, I would be really, really thankful. And until next time, as always, stay classy.